All right, welcome back to Eternal Darkness. Last time we did Elia's chapter. No, last time we, gained, we began the LP. So much progress. Your presence is welcomed, Majesty. As always, I am honored. Our dealings are a pleasure to us both, then. He lies. As do we all. What is this flaw you wish to discuss with us? My concern is with the other ancients. Ulioth, Shaturka. Should they unite with Mantarok, they will doubtlessly possess enough power to vanquish even thee. As darkness abhors light, and light abhors dark, the others will not, cannot, join forces. Mandarok will be bound, and the others will sink into insanity when I return. As has been foretold. I was unaware. There is much you do not know. Certain to retrieve Mandrock's essence, it is necessary to cement our place in your world. Then what of Charlemagne the Frank? What do you intend for him? The Frank is an instrument of light. He seeks to unite Europe under his banner. With this in place, my guardians will be hard pressed to perform the functions you require. For your own schemes, Pius. Think of your future. Then Charlemagne will be removed from the picture. Make sure he is dead. Or insane. Or perhaps one, then the other. Just make sure he is removed from power. Of course. He is as good as dead. How does uniting Europe un- whatever. From my research, it is apparent that the endeavors of mankind are mere- You kind of saw what I mentioned earlier about uh, the ancients. Plus, Zelotov can read minds too, so. The ancients move quickly to- So she has the ability to get to the point, the but she likes to meander a little bit. The new Holy Roman Empire was at the height of its power. Hunk mit ad dominum et imperatorum nostrum, carolum magnum francum. Deliver this to our lord and emperor, Charlemagne the Frank. No one but him must see it. They are words for his eyes only, at once. No one can see me if I huddle in this corner here. You gotta gate that leads into a brick wall right there. What the hell is that? Oh, God! What sorcery is this? Spell Not sorcery. Darkness. This was meant for Charlemagne, then what will become of him? I have to warn him of Or not sorcery. Treachery. Skill. Or not luck. Skill. Not the gods. Skill. It's always skill. Alright, so, oh, uh, we could go upstairs, but we won't. Customary for a funeral, just walk up to the casket and open it. But it's a clo- but it's a closed casket funeral! Ah, just open the casket- oh! That's why closed casket funerals exist. This poor man has been the victim of great evil. Look how his body has been defiled. As if something has- burst out from inside him. Here, take this for your protection. And find the bishop. He must be informed of this horrible discovery. But yeah, we don't really miss out on uh, anything. Uh, not going up to uh, upstairs right away.
But yeah, it's truly a disturbing sight. Back in these days, these graphics were pretty good. that cat getting nosy see what's in this oh shit he broke the urn you motherfucker and i know all this already but yeah another note i think i should mention because i don't think i ever mentioned this in the uliath alignment but uh, uh this game was developed by silicon knights which which i did mention before but silicon knights also developed the one of the Metal Gear Solid games, uh, Metal Gear Solid, the Twin Snakes. So they pretty much just used the entire voice cast from the Twin Snakes for this game. Or they used the entire voice cast for this game for Twin Snakes, because technically this game came out first, which is why there's also an Eternal Darkness Easter egg in the Twin Snakes. Uh, in the same manner as, uh, the PlayStation 1 original, where Psycho Mantis reads your mind and reads your memory card and tells you what games that you like to play. Such, uh, such video games in that Easter egg also include uh, Super Mario Sunshine and also The Legend of Zelda. Come on. Alright. Yeah, so... I'm pretty sure if you do not save that monk and get the bishop's sword there, then you don't get the bishop's sword for uh, the future chapters. You know, for Peter's and for uh, Paul Luther's chapters. Alright, so I have a magical rune. I So I should... I should be able to, uh, create enchant I What the fuck happened? Okay, there we go. So, as, as I mentioned in the, the Let's Play earlier, the codices are not mandatory to beat the game. Solve the puzzle, you burned tapestry. Uh, I do not have the. Oh, the urns in the. Uh, boo me. I fucked up. I forgot to get the pieces of the urn out of that room. Foolish me. Foolish me. If this were a speedrun, this would be a failed speedrun. But I'm not foolish enough to try speedrunning this game. You solved the puzzle, you solved the puzzle, you solved the puzzle, you solved the puzzle, you solved the puzzle. Uh, yeah, you solved the puzzle. Oh wow, you solved all these puzzles so quick, huh? Yeah, my total first time playing through this game. Never. I just, I just do all this really fast. But yeah, still the same conditions uh, uh, apply to Anthony. He does not, uh, he does not die in this chapter. So it's like there's just no threat. There's just no threat at all. Not like Kareem's chapter. Kareem's chapter is probably going to be pretty difficult due to the fact that this is the Zelototh alignment. 
And because Chaturga is dominant to Zelatoth, that means that we won't be getting Chaturga's rune until uh, Maximilian's chapter. So unfortunately, if we were to, if I were to require health, I would have to rely on, uh... Oh man, does it, does it really want me to make the spell? No, don't. Uh... Okay, I did it. Uh, I want to say you don't get that tutorial if you're playing this on, uh, with, uh, with all of the alignments completed. Oh, I did not enchant my weapon. Shit. So, you have come to return my book. Very well then. For your efforts, I promise a quick <sighs> and merciful death. I am very certain that that is Paul Eiding. Paul Eiding also most certainly voices another monk at the at the end of this chapter. Oh god, how, how did he grip me so fast? Let's just get the fuck out of here. No, oh, that's a face not even a mother could love. Oh yeah, at this point they are draining my health. Okay, I want to see if I can get it. Okay, okay, I couldn't get it. There's actually a trick you can do there. If you run, um, if you trigger the trapper and then you run back through the door, you don't have to go through the a trapper dimension. It's actually a speed run strategy, since the uh, the trapper dimension does take up time. But yeah, I did not get that lucky, unfortunately. Now uh, all the bugs, got all the bugs crawling on the screen. It's great. Love it. Never noticed before, but even the Trapper Dimension kind of has some uh, ambient sound effects that change depending on what level your sanity is at. Trappers have no eyes, but you can sneak past them if you're good enough. And I'm on the ceiling. That was a great that was a great sanity effect. We got to walk on the ceiling. It was great. Very briefly. I think I said this before, but yeah, the the walking on the ceiling sanity effect is probably the most annoying one. And like uh, you can usually tell when it happens because uh uh, the screen cuts to complete black instead of, uh, you know, just loading the room right away. I don't know why I'm saving in the middle. Oh, I know why I'm saving in the middle of this chapter. Yeah, I'm pretty sure his... Yeah, I, t I was certain that his dialogue changed depending on, like, how ugly you were. Okay, maybe I'm ugly enough now. Nope. I was very certain that that monk... That monk had like a changed description of... Like when you talk to him, he's just like, Oh, he doesn't recognize Anthony anymore because he just looks like a monster. But it's like, he knows that it's him, but... Something like that. Something stupid like that. Yeah, 
Yeah, so the Zelatov horror. I actually did not attack there. That's the sanity effect of uh, the character attacking for me. Now, the Zelatov horror is kind of interesting because it, it kind of just has... It just has eyes instead of heads. But it's also... Uh, one of the weak, weakest enemies in the game, aside from the Zelatoth zombie, so. Ah, oh, jeez. So, hooray, we didn't actually die in Anthony's chapter. It's almost as if I was worried about dying in Anthony's chapter from the very beginning. trying to save him, Anthony. His fate was decided many centuries ago, as is the fate of this world. But Colonel Campbell, I was Despite just trying... Uh... There is little to save you from the power of Zelotov. 